Hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. It is time to figure out why the tripod is moving. Monday, November 11th, 2013. 11 11 always cool when you got days like that, at least from my perspective. More importantly, here in the U.S. is Veterans Day. Uh, neighbors to the North Canada, I believe. Remembrance Day? Not 100% sure on that. I think I've seen it on a calendar in the past. But uh, from myself and uh, anyone else with any decency in them, a big thank you to the men and women of the armed forces. Everything I do here, uh, you playing Skylanders right now, uh, our lives would look radically different without the people who put it all on the line to afford us uh, the ability to continue to live the lives that we do. So big thanks to all our veterans not only currently serving, uh, also those who have served in the past, uh, those who paid the ultimate price, and those who will serve. That said, uh, just a little bit before midnight here, gonna do something pretty cool. Uh, not quite sure how well it's going to fit into the frame. Uh, usually stuff that doesn't fit in the frame turns out to be pretty dadgum cool if you haven't noticed. Uh, that said, what we're going to do is take a look at yet another product from Power A. I'll uh, see if we can get that in here. Uh, we can't really. But, uh, if what this is, this is their over-the-door figure storage. I'm going to go ahead and slide this out of the plastic bag if possible. There we go. Uh, this should be, I think I saw this at Toys R Us finally the other day. Uh, one of the only, you know, new accessories I've seen out in person. Trying to... There we go. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of awkward, but uh, you get the idea. Got the Swap Force logo over the door figure storage. This thing will actually hold up to 60 figures. Uh, here's the catch on display, which that's going to be these little latches that you see here. You can actually hold 49 figures. And then, of course, you do the math. 60 from 49 is 11. Uh, that would be down here at the zippered pouch. This has some really cool features I'm going to try to cover here. Uh, that's kind of a view of the front for you. I'm trying to balance everything as best I can. Over here on the back side, and I have to say this green and blue looks really well on the over-the-door deal. Uh, keeps your figures off the floor and ready to play. Zippered compartment stores the portal of power and additional figures. Adjustable straps provide easy access for portal masters of all heights. That's a really big deal. Um, organize and display your favorite figures. And of course, you can set it up however you want to. Uh, these could be some that you've already leveled up, you don't use often. This could be your go-to deal. Uh, obviously, this works great if you've got a door right by, you know, the entertainment center, the TV, wherever the portal is. Uh, so keep that in mind. The way this works, the hanging instructions, you're going to have what looks to be two metal hooks, kind of like a wreath hanger, uh, for those of you that look at it that way. Uh, place the two metal hooks on top of this selected door, and then it looks like we're just going to have kind of like a flag type insert. Uh, loop the bottom hooks through the reinforced holes on the adjustable straps and then three and this is what's really uh, Brilliant on this one uh, if you're a gentle giant like seven foot plus and you need every you know, uh, Chance to not have to bend down to the floor You can have this thing literally right up to the top of the door frame if this is intended for like say you're five-year-old and you want them to have access to their favorite figures you simply adjust this strap and that will in turn lower the actual storage down uh, to where instead of being at your eye level, you can actually kind of manipulate that. So a uh, very nice feature there instead of just being like some fixed position, uh, kind of centered on a typical door. That's the logical approach, but this actually makes more sense, meaning it was well thought out. Uh, organize and display your collection. Again, that bottom pouch, you can fit the portal, some controllers, uh, maybe like your uh, accessories, you know, the Tower of Time, your magic items. Uh, anything that you have trouble maybe getting, you know, staying put in the straps there. I'm uh, going to go ahead here. I'm going to try to pop this back up. There we go. Uh, Chase McCain is hidden. Um, maybe not fantastically, but I think you can find him if you want to. Uh, looks like there's just this one little deal. I actually got it off by hand. It's a shame you didn't see that. It was pretty impressive. Uh, there is a, nope, just that one. So, all this does is just slide right off, real simple. Uh, you don't really need the instructions, but if you do, they're right there for you. 
have to say, uh, you heard me mention it earlier, this is a really nice green. It matches the Swap Force green. It is padded. That's a big deal if you've got, say, like a high-end finish on your doors. Uh, if they're just painted with cheap paint and you don't want it to scuff off or something. This is going to protect that. Uh, this is probably going to be awkward again because this is probably fairly large. Here's how... It, the cool thing, I've had a lot of people ask, like on Flynn's ship and the Skylands, it's like... Hey, how small can that get if I have to move it around? Uh, here's your answer here. I'll actually try uh, to measure this and put it up the dimensions on the blog for you. I don't have a tape measure here handy. I do have one nearby, just not at the pool table. But uh, I would say that's what maybe, I don't know, three foot. You can't really see it all. So it all right, so the batteries died. The good news is that means I got to get that tape measure. This thing from... Green edge to green edge, roughly 22 inches. Go blue to blue, you're looking at 23 inches. So that'll be the profile it has on the door. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fold this out. And then we'll fold this down. The bottom here, uh, again, this is really awkward to like film this. Uh, I do plan to kind of throw it over a door. I think that will work best. The zippered pouch actually very nicely done. Obviously, this is the bottom. We've got uh, Ninja Stealth Elf Magna Charge, the Swap Force logo. Uh, is there anybody above that? No. So, interestingly enough, you've got Wash Buckler. I'm sorry, Wash Buckler and Blast Zone making Wash Zone. Big Bang Trigger happy. Uh, no Blast Zone present there at the bottom. So, uh, let me open this thing. Again, this is like... I need like an 8 foot fringe here to hold this and if I go over. Okay, so here's our metal hooks. They were kept inside the zippered area, obviously. Uh, they look pretty nice. Uh, again, I don't think they're going to scuff the finish. If you're worried about that for some reason, uh, my advice is like line it with felt. Uh, scotch tape it. Actually, the easiest way to do it would probably just be to uh, put some painter's tape on both sides and if you wind up pulling it off because it doesn't clear or something uh, won't leave any adhesive behind it. Again, that's scotch blue for those of you that watch HDTV. Uh, you get a feel right there for the Skylines area. I'm going to go ahead and unfold this yet again. Uh, <laughs> nice shot of the sunflower there. That's some pretty nice detail. So basically what we're looking at, uh, again this is by no means a great way to film things but uh you've got a skylines basically your main one everywhere you see those little black i'm assuming it's like a nylon material that is a strap um i guess i can count them it should be a similar pattern uh note that they're going to be staggered uh so i'm going to start here on the outside row just trust my count here we've got one two three four five six seven and then the middle row here or the second row, I should say, starts lower, closer to the zippered pouch. One, two, three, four. So each one has seven. And then I'm going to guess here that there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, if you can see it, and seven. That makes our 49, and then they're guesstimating you can fit 11 more in that pouch. I'm going to go ahead and tell you yet again, uh, you can fit more than that. Uh, that actually might fit like eight giants comfortably. Anyway, <laughs> that's the main uh, I'm caught on my tripod there. Well, the main island has that sunflower. If you come over to the right, we've got a smaller skyline. Right above that, we've got a larger one. Again, three sunflowers there. And then these are kind of like a faded look compared to the others i think that's done to kind of indicate that they're like farther away uh kind of like a time space continuum type deal what i'm trying to do now is actually hold these straps to showcase the characters for you uh this keeps hanging up on things we've got hoot loop slobber tooth star strike looks like light core star strike if anyone wants to be particular pop thorn who again is winning the cuteness contest uh, Chop Chop, ironically, with a shield and not in his twin, I guess that could be Twin Blade Chop Chop Sans, a twin blade. Uh, I'm assuming that's what it is. Mega Ram Spyro. Uh, we got Roller Brawl. There's Blast Zone. Uh, interesting there that it's actually Blast Zone when we saw Wash Zone at the bottom. There's Rattle Shake. There's Free Ranger. That's that. <laughs> the way these straps work. If you can kind of work with me here, 
Okay, I'll just change positions. Uh, we have the really durable, this is kind of like that backpack style material. Uh, it probably makes sense to anyone that's ever had a backpack. It's the stuff that you load down with excessively too much weight in terms of books or miscellaneous items. Hurts your back, gets heavy, uh, puts red marks in your hands, and yet somehow doesn't ever tear away from the bag, so you know it's good stuff. Uh, reinforced right here on the actual deal, they've kind of got that metal lip right there for this to rest against. Right here, it's just your typical, you know, slider, you can adjust your height that way. Coming up, the little, uh, strap. Good lord, this is crazy. Okay, uh, we have... The actual insert there, I like that it's centered, that's going to give it a lot of strength, maximum strength anyway. Note also that it's folded over again, giving you increased strength. Now, the way that should work, let's I'll just set that down. I'm going to come in, again I've got my bag with two hooks here, this is actually going to be really easy to do. Uh, hardest part for some people might actually be reaching the top of the door. Uh, I'm pretty tall, it won't be an issue for me, if you're shorter you might need a step stool. Or someone tall in your life to help you out. Right here though, the way this is going to work, obviously that's about the dimension of a door. You simply press that in. Note, it's thin metal, it's strong, it's going to hold this and all the weight of the Skylands. But the main thing, it's flexible as well. That means you can actually kind of adjust. With this, it's kind of like a tensile strength type deal. It's going to snap back into place, hold everything firmly. Again, if you're concerned about the finish on your door, what I would do... Just grab some painter's tape and actually run it on the inside and outside, that way you're kind of covered. But, this little tab here, kind of like the J portion if you will, we're just going to slide that in. You see how simple that is. And then that's going to support the weight of the uh, door hanger. Uh, the coolest thing, I think, aside from the fact that this holds 60 figures, again I think you can fit more than that if you're so inclined. Uh, it looks pretty dadgum cool. Uh, it's going to be safe, easy. Uh, the retail price on it, I believe, is $29.99, which is actually a little bit lower than I thought it would be. That is correct, $29.99. Um, the best thing, though, is that it adjusts for the height. I mean, like I said, if you're super tall, you simply just max this thing up to where it's basically just, you know... The little eye ring right here is basically that far away uh, from the top, and you're golden. Uh, if you're, like I said, you're doing this for your kids, one of them's, you know, younger, you know, four or five years old, etc., just drop it down all the way, and you're home free. Uh, and the thing is, this will grow with you. I mean, if your kids, you know, years down the line are still playing with the same figures, you can adjust it. Uh, Pretty neat setup, I have to say. Again, it's $29.99 is going to be the retail price here. Uh, comes folded up, packed real nicely. It's very simple to do. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw this over a door so we can get a look at it there. That will work way better than this. This is just simply too big of an item for like the small space that I have to work with solo. Uh, so we'll take it from there but so far so good and again it is padded on the back side that's actually going to be the green that you see there um kind of i mean it's not like super luxurious you know three inch foam or anything but it's going to be sufficient enough you can load this down with the 49 figures in each strap it's not going to scuff your door the back side obviously well taken into account there uh, the front side looks really well. I think this is going to actually be pretty durable. Looks like it was stitched very nicely. The straps, let me grab one and actually see. Uh, I'm putting considerable force on that. Uh, as you can see, they've got some elastic in them. They're going to essentially like a fancy rubber band for your figures. But what I will do is quit rambling. We'll go ahead and throw this on the door. Then I'll come in and uh, we'll take a look at it as it would sit installed at your place again one last look here chase mccain is hidden so keep that in mind but i'm going to go put this over the door we'll take a look at that and we will take it from there all right so here we are this took about all of 40 seconds and that's just because i was trying to straighten it out as best i could uh the way this works again those little uh you know hooks which you can actually see now that i'm looking through the camera uh slide over the door as you can see plenty of room here so if you got like a really fancy thick door, you should be golden. Uh, if you've got smaller doors, you're going to be fine. It'll fold up. I'm trying to hold that for you. I'm kind of looking at the 
negative image but as you can see by the play right there plenty of room so coming down though you can actually see how that works it's just simply like i said you take this reinforced part with the eyelet and we actually look for that j hook put it in place really all there is to it uh coming down that's basically what you're going to see at the top we'll go ahead come down the door as you can see my door handle is uh nickel because i don't like gold but, uh, once again i, I kind of think i have this side a little bit higher uh, i'll show you how easy it is to adjust it down that's the good news obviously you want to give it up it's a little bit more time consuming but uh it's default roughly at this height i just kind of felt like this one was a little bit higher so i've been dropping it down this is actually like perfect i would say my nephew uh He's eight years old. He would actually probably be head height uh, somewhere in this range, you know, like a couple of three inches or so above uh, the border there, meaning you have full access to all the Skylanders. Uh, if you did drop this down all the way, I feel like you could get to the point where that nylon zippered area is basically going to be dragging the floor, meaning this thing has full adjustability. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I will raise this back up. I'll load it up with some Skylanders for you. But just to give you an idea, right there, uh, there's the floor, obviously. Coming, if anyone wonders, I know someone's going to ask, it's a golf ball uh, and a pitching wedge, and then that's where I keep the pool cues. But, uh, coming up, and I actually have all the clubs out in the shop. I just sometimes I go around in the backyard with the pitching wedge. So uh, that's the story there. But you get the idea for what that actually looks like. It's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and uh, flip this for you. Gives you an idea. I will back it up a little bit more. <laughs> it's kind of like your full frame, if you will, or as close as we're going to get. But uh, I'm going to come in now. And, and let me make sure we can't... Yeah, I'll actually uh, stop this here. Raise it up to kind of where it's at my height. And uh, we'll take a look at it there. So, But again has delivered from the factory assuming they're all in roughly the same position i'd say it's ideal probably for kids like four to eight uh, you know if you've got like some really tall kids you know or like maybe 10 to 12 ish you know you might need to bump it up just a tad uh, for adults we're obviously going to want to raise it but it's not a big deal so overall though for 29.99 have to say uh, very nice storage it is probably going to be pretty fun for kids i think obviously they're going to enjoy this more than like say the uh you know stackable tackle box but uh we'll see i'll go ahead like i said i'll raise it up that way i kind of won't have to like point you down at the carpet but as mentioned as delivered i would have to say and i'm basing this around my nephew who's eight years old uh, I'd say average height, you know, based on like soccer teams and stuff like that. There's occasionally like those freakishly tall kids, uh, you know, but I'd say he's about average height. So f what I consider average here, eight years old, I'd say this is pretty much perfect as delivered. But I'll go ahead, I will adjust it. We'll assume that uh, you're someone like myself, a uh, 20-something year old or something. And I'll try to kind of bring it up to our height and we'll take it from there. So I will be right back and uh, we will see how this goes adjusting. All right, so here we are. This is actually adjusted up all the way. Uh, having done it, it took like all of 20 seconds. It's just one of those things. I don't want to do it with a camera. Uh, just kind of complicates everything. Nonetheless, I have to say with this up all the way, my nephew, I believe, would have full access to it as this that you see here as well uh, i would say you can kind of see where we are from the floor that might be like what two feet from the nylon bag so uh, if you had like younger kids uh, or nieces nephews grandkids maybe like five and under uh, fully maxed out they might have trouble reaching like the top row or something but i feel like the zippered bag and probably up to uh, this row here, they'd be golden, uh, really. Uh, again, it really, it's kind of hard for me to speculate how tall people's children are. But for my nephew, like I said, almost as low as it would go, he would have had full access to it. He'll actually have full access to it here. Uh, I have to say, it's centered. Uh, let me back up a bit for you. Um, 
I'm gonna try to get the floor in there. All right, I think that's about as good as we're gonna do. You see the whole door casing there and the carpet. I'll uh, tilt up just a tad. I have to say that's, I think, almost centered. Uh, if it was maybe up like another six inches, I think it'd be like spot on. But uh, it actually looks pretty dadgum cool. And like I said, this thing will hold 60 figures. So if you've got a door by the TV or something, uh, that would be ideal. Let me drop down here to my knees. You can actually kind of get a feel for the zippered pouch. That thing is actually pretty uh, substantial if you span it out a bit. Uh, I'm impressed by it, actually. Uh, it's really going to come down to what you personally prefer. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be fantastic. Uh, if you like for the kids to play by themselves, uh, if you like them to have easy access to everything but something manageable that they can actually, you know, when you say, hey, clean up, uh, come and put the figures away, uh, this would be ideal. Uh, and obviously, if you put it on the back side of a door, you can actually kind of hide things out of the sight. Uh, if you have like a game room or something, you know, um, it really, like I said, it comes down to personal preference. Uh, while this would be great for that, and some people may love this, you know, over the other storage methods, uh, for many people, the stackable tackle box, regardless if they have to pull five of them off to get to, you know, box number six to get the character they want, uh, that's just going to be desirable to them. Uh, really, like I say, it's a matter of personal preference. I could actually see either one going, uh, I'm probably going to leave this thing up. Don't know how many figures I might put in here, but uh, something me and my nephew will do. Uh, you know, we might have some fun with it. But uh, what I will do for the blog, I'll take some pictures, I'll put some random figures in here, put a few items down there in that zippered pouch. I'll take some pictures for you. And I will have that up if you take that link at the top of the video description box. It will take you straight to this post. You can see all that type of stuff there. Uh, questions, comments, so feel free to ask here on YouTube. For a much quicker response, I suggest you use the blog, oneofwisdom.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Again, retail price on the Skylander Swap Force over the door hanger, $29.99. Uh, literally from the time you open it up to the time you have it at the height that you want it to be, you're probably going to be looking at like two minutes max. Uh, again, only issue if you're short, you might, you know, need a step stool to get to the top of your door. Uh, but I have to say, it's actually pretty dadgum cool. Uh, like I said, it is padded. Let me go ahead and show you the back side here. I'll let it hit. Obviously, you didn't hear metal to metal. You didn't hear anything scuff. It's because there's foam backing there. Uh, very well made. Again, I'm going to go ahead and kind of test the you know, strength here. Nothing bad's happening. Generally, if nothing bad happens right off the bat, you're home free. So, Again, personal preference is what I'd call on this one. It really comes down to how you want to store the figures, how you want to personally access them or the kids to access them. Uh, if you're kind of like the hands-off type of person, you don't want the kids to kind of take care of their own needs and be able to put them away, this would actually work pretty well. And uh, again, similar price, stackable tackle box is going to be $25, we'll call it. This is basically $30, so uh, you make the call, but again, it does look very nice. Setup is super fast, super easy. I think this is going to be something... Uh, I would love to see one broken. I don't see it happen, uh, short of like doing gymnastics on it or something crazy. But uh, the other thing, it actually works well. You know, if your kids want to do like a little photo op with the Skylanders, you know, you're going to have their favorite set up and then them stand by the door. You could also measure height on it, a uh, number of different things. But again, I'll quit rambling. I'll have some pictures up on the blog for you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we will catch you later.